It's a beautiful summer's morning here in Inishmore and I'm outside the hotel here and I'm joined by a man who's come very far away from home, from the other side of Yall to come up here to Inishmore. That's some trek. Yeah, I suppose uh, it took off yesterday morning around half ten and it was around three and a half hours spin, so a bit of a spin, but look, uh, nice to get to see it now. We're first time out in Inishmore, so it was lovely to come out here and experience what it's all about, so yeah, enjoying it out here. It probably gives you an appreciation too of the trek that the players on this island and the other two islands have to do to play their own club football. Yeah, I was talking to the local chairman there and he said that a few representatives on the county panel and just see the dedication they showed to get a 40 minute ferry into, into Galway and then down to Salt Hill to train every evening. No, but yeah, that's generally across the board, you know, inter-county. Um, you know, lads are making huge sacrifices and, and a spin could be just part of that as well. So look, most most uh, inter-county players these days are making huge sacrifices and that might be just one of them. Yeah. A few years ago, the death knell was being sounded for Cork hurling. Now we're hearing it for Cork football. What's going on in Cork these days? Ah, look, I, I suppose you can only focus internally on what you're doing as a team yourself. And and look, um, after you know one or two bad campaigns, we just had to look at ourselves and, and just try to get the most out of ourselves. Look, that's all I continuously say to myself and the rest of the lads. Just you know, try to really realize your own potential, and that's what we're trying to focus on. So, because if you get the most out of yourself and and you're you're producing as much as you can for the team, there's that much more you can do. So it was a pretty basic message, and that's what we continue to do. But look, thankfully things have improved. But Look, the Munster series is wrapped up. We weren't we weren't happy with how the All Ireland series went last year, so the ultimate focus now just switches to last Sunday, three weeks. So, um, looking forward to that. But everything hinges on that day now again. You know, six six teams left in it now at the moment. It could tr- cause anyone trouble. I um, think the championship is wide open. Obviously, Galway are on a, on a great run at the moment, being champions last year and you know winning out Leinster as well this year. So they're on a great run. But any of the teams can cause you hassle. Um, we, we've had ding-dong battles with Clare this year, you know, Limerick as well. We're very lucky to get a draw against them. But look, it's wide open. It's wide open. We're under no illusions. If you turn in a substandard performance against any of these teams, you know, you will be under serious pressure. But uh, thoroughly looking forward to the opportunity and challenge that's ahead. You had your ding-dongs, like you said, but at the same time, for us watching it, the Munster Championship was amazing. Mightn't have felt like that to you when you were in the middle of it. How, what was your assessment of it? Uh, I suppose, uh, as I said to the other uh, journalists earlier, you know, it was four games in five weeks and you don't have too much time to dwell on it. So literally, once one Sunday is over, you know, you're waking up the next morning and you've only six more mornings to, to your next game. So you can't dwell on it. And early the focus switches straight to recovery and then, you know, getting back into training, getting yourself prepped for the following game. So, yeah, look, it was a good Monster Championship and, you know, it's great to be playing games over continuously training and 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 let's say a monster championship hinging on one performance like the like the old form it was but no no it's great yeah i thoroughly enjoyed it this year but look it's wrapped up now and it's, it's time to move on perhaps a bit more of a holistic uh, championship then if that's the case like you said you weren't thinking if we've lost it now that's it you're still going so it gave opportunity but also some teams rose to it better than others like cork yeah, yeah, I suppose, look, we, as I said, we, we all prefer playing games and especially down our way, I suppose, the Utner squad, you know, helped as well, you know, they thoroughly enjoy playing games and, and no, it, it, it was different, but um, no, we embraced it and we had to get on with it, you know, that's what we were faced with, so that's what, that was the challenge that was ahead and thankfully we faced it head on, but um, look, uh, I'm looking forward to it for years to come as well, but for now it, it's parked and, and it's time to move on to the all Ireland series. And that's what you're looking towards now, you're in a good place, but obviously last year Year, you guys had a bit of a capitulation once you got to that series. What are you going to do this year differently? Um, yeah, I suppose. Look, we had a bad, we had a bad 15 minutes. You know, a quarter of an hour towards the end of the the end of that semi final. But look, that we have to take the learnings from that and move on. Now uh, we're really, you know, anxious and we're looking forward to you know the challenge that's presented. We really, really, really want to put on a good performance in the semi final. But um, yeah, so that's three weeks ahead. But now we just have to focus on getting back in training the next night and just improving ourselves on a daily basis.